here I have is the our new non-powered HDMI equalizer pigtail style. As you see here. So it's a input from here on the unit, and here it's labeled source. And the output goes to the display, which already has a pigtail right here. And the part number for TNT is R013-EQL-MF-01-D1. So in this unit right here is this the specs for this is that it goes to 125 feet using 24 gauge HDMI cable, which I have here. 125 feet HDMI cable, 24 gauge. And in the sources I'll be playing is a Blu-ray player, which I have set to 1080p, and I'll show you the settings later. And the monitor I'm using is a Samsung TV monitor. Uh, this will all be in the, the models for these will all be in the, set, in the test report, so that's fine. So you can start right now through the start connection. I already connected the cable to the player, so I'm just gonna connect the, the unit. So from here, so cable, so player to cable to the equalizer. And this is a long portion. Then I can connect the TV. Like I like here. Now, notice, some, notice on, the, on this unit we have a micro USB right here. Now, you might need to use it or might not, depending on your combination of TV and player. Since we take the power for the power, this unit is taken from either the player or the source. This, I mean, the player or the TV. So you might need it, you might not. In my case, I test this. I, I see we don't need it, so I'm not going to use it. But if you do need it, all I really, for me, I'm you. I was using was like a little USB power adapter. But you can also. I also tried using sometimes when I do need it. I also try using the USB port on the TVs, and it did work also. So you can try that. So. Here you have to turn the, the units on, the TV and the player on. And here you see right now is the Samsung screen, the home screen. So, let me show you the setting that I was telling you earlier about. Now, our unit, like I said, is up to 125 feet. Now, the different, the upgraded version is that it also does 1080p 60Hz and deep color. The deep color. So here, let me show you the settings that I have right now for the set on the player. As you can see here, resolution I set to 1080p. I turn the movie frame off, so it forces 60Hz. If I turn it on, it'll be 24Hz, but we don't. That's being lower than what we, we spec up to. And then for deep color, there's an off and auto. I chose auto, so it actually does come on, but even I can't, I don't know what bit it is, but it does, I have set it on auto. So here you go, let me hit play. Let's take a fast forward all this. But here you see the video does come up. And you can hear the sound. And let me show you the resolution. So here you see resolution right here 1920, 1920 by 1080, which is basically 1080p. And then at 60 hertz. Let me try actually to play a pop-up menu. Yeah, it doesn't let me do it, but... Well, as you can see, it does... Now it's loading the video. But yeah. Going 125 feet with deep color on auto and at 1920 by 1080p using our new upgraded non-powered version of the HDMI equalizer pigtail style. And like I said earlier, on this setup, with this setup, I really don't need a USB power. But if I did need it, all I would do is get it from a USB power adapter through a micro USB or try to use a USB port on the TVs.